Good afternoon, Cross Timbers. Today is Wednesday, April 13, 2016. This is Texan TV News from Tarleton State University campus in Steamville, Texas, and I am Alejandra Aragin. Here are today's top stories. In campus news, yesterday marked the start of Founders Week with the first event, May Fate. May Fate was started when Tarleton founded back in 1899 and was then brought back in 2009. Due to inclement weather yesterday, spect spectators racked into the math building to watch the pageant take place. Six girls competed by answering questions in the categor categories of personality, creativity, knowledge of Tarleton tradition, school pride, scholarship, achievement, and overall participation. After answering questions in the seven categories, the judge deliberated and chose the winner. The winner of this year's May Fit went to Brittany Green, who is a member of the 5 Mu and a TTM on campus. Following the May Fate pageant, everyone headed to Heritage Park to wrap the, May May the Maypole. Three trees were wrapped with string that was woven by students. Congratulations to all those who participated in May Fate. Founders Week continues tonight with a Grassburg party when, where Miss CSU will be announced. Thursday will be Silver Top followed by the Leadership and Service Awards on Friday. Be sure to go out to these events and celebrate Founders Week. In local news, according to the Steamville Empire Tribune, Bobby Joe Harpo will be given the prestigious Golden Trow Award on Friday, April 15. He will be presented this award by the fellow members of the Steamville Masonic Lodge 267 at their awards banquet. Harpo has not only been a Mason since 1967, but has also served for 34 years as Department of Public Safety Law Enforcement Officer. One of his many duties includes taking part in security at President George W. Bush Ranch in Crawford, Texas. The Gordon Trowell Citation, in addition to the award, says Brother Harpo tirelessly supports lodge activities, including degree work in our annual fundraiser by arriving early to prepare the friars and works throughout the day in whatever capacity is asked of him. There will be a, fire, a free dinner open to the public on Friday, April 6, on Friday at 6 p.m. at the Masonic Lodge to honor Harpo and his hard work. For more information about the dinner, call 254-965-4175. And now today's Texas national and international news from the Associated Press. Officials say two workers have been killed and another was hurt during a high-pressure release as the men did repairs on a South Texas gas pipeline. R Refugio County authorities say the accident happened Tuesday afternoon at a South Cross Energy Partners plant near Woodsboro. Justice of the Peace Lorraine Lopez says two of the men were in a hole repairing a gas pipeline when a piece of the line came loose, releasing about 800 pounds of pressure. The victims were blown from the hole. Officials say one man died at the scene, another died at the hospital. The third man was being treated at a hospital. Methods left with Dallas-based South Cross were not immediately returned Wednesday. In national news, a team of specialists have been working for for to repair two 10-month-year-old girls for, for surgery. Yesterday morning, surgery began for Jimena and Scarlett Hernandez Torres, who were born conjoined below the waist, sharing a colon and a bladder. Specialists plan to reconstruct the girl's colon and bladder through surgery. Driscoll Children's spokesman Jeff Salzgaber said the girl's procedure is expected to be an hours-long operation, which can last between 12 to 18 hours, said Dr. Haroon Patel. The girls also had their identical triplet, Catalina, who was born without any serious health issues. The hospital staff has cared for the conjoined girls since they were transferred to the Corpus Christi facility hours after birth. A hospital statement said doctors have positive outlook for the girls' recovery, as well as they will require additional surgery as they grow. In international news, hundreds of people in China lined a courthouse waving rainbow flags to show their support for a gay couple who was gay couple case who was dismissed by a judge earlier today. This is China's first same-sex marriage case. For more, we turn to the Associated Press. A judge ruled against a gay couple in China's first same-sex marriage case in a landmark moment for the country's emerging LGBT rights movement. The court in central China dismissed a lawsuit brought against the Civil Affairs Bureau for refusing to issue the couple a marriage registration certificate. We don't really need a marriage to prove our love. We just want to be treated equally as others in this country. The case attracted hundreds of cheering supporters, some waving small rainbow flags outside of the courthouse. China does not recognize same-sex marriage, and officials in the central government have said they do not see the law changing soon. Our country has never had a written law term to forbid marriage between people of the same sex. 
like the United States did. While homosexuality is not illegal in China, the country's LGBT movement is still in its infancy, and it is rare for same-sex couples to live openly. It is unclear how far gay rights activism will be allowed to go under the current political regime in China, where lawyers, groups, and feminist activists have been jailed in recent months. The Chinese legislative body doesn't take into account the LGBT community. They don't understand the needs of this community. So for us to come out of the closet in this way is for them to realize that we exist. The lawsuit comes amid growing awareness of LGBT issues in China, where society and the government have generally frowned on non-traditional expressions of gender and identity. Matthew Burgoyne, Associated Press. And now the AP News Minute for more of today's national and international news. This is AP News Minute. Republican presidential candidate Ted Cruz says Donald Trump is inciting violence and using dirty tricks to intimidate voters. Trump claims the Republican National Committee is actively trying to defeat him. It's election day in the government-held parts of Syria. A new 250-member parliament is being chosen. Police in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, held a special security drill at the city's Olympic arena. They're preparing for the Summer Olympics set for this August in Rio. And an Arizona woman is describing how she survived nine days lost in the desert. Ann Rogers says she ate desert plants and spelled out help with sticks and an elk skull. She was rescued on Saturday. Sandy Kozell, the Associated Press, with AP News Minute. Today's weather for forecast is brought to you by the National Weather Service. Today will be cloudy with a 20% chance of rain. Highs today are in the upper 60s with lows in the mid-50s. Today's broadcast was produced by Rebecca Hernandez, Candy Carpenter, and Cindy Burns. You can follow Texas News Service on Facebook and Twitter and check out our website at www.texanews.net. Tune in tomorrow for the latest news from the Tarleton State University campus in Steamville, Texas.